Okay, I was getting ready to print this trigger and I noticed that this is kind of a weird point right here and it looks like it uh, might be the reason that it broke. I noticed in the picture on the website that the, the trigger is actually broken. Um, let me go check that right quick to verify that. Yeah, if you look right there you'll notice that the trigger is broken in that picture and I think the reason why is well the force maybe uh, that was applied to it but it's kind of got a weak point right here looks like it just wants to snap off so what I did was I'll get rid of that one I actually beefed it up right there and it's, there's not as much of a crook in it now. And I think that that'll, that trigger there will take more force. And so what I'm going to do is, since I added some length to it, I'm just going to go ahead and put the... I took some of the end off, and now I'm going to put it back on there. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard in 3D to uh, figure out where you are. Okay, so now we have a, I think what will be a better trigger. Now I'm going to export this thing and print it. Okay, so this trigger has this little nub on it right here and so I could I felt like I wanted to print it in halves and glue it together so it could lay flat on the printer and print which I don't think is going to be a big problem because I think I can just glue these two halves together with super glue and then I'll have my two nubs also, my pr my trigger should be stronger because it doesn't have that kink in it right here. And I don't think mine's going to be breaking like the one apparently did, like Cody's apparently did. Um, just basing that on the picture that he has on his website. Let's see, we have the trigger. We have a hammer spring. We have a trigger spring. And I have already had an AR grip. I was actually building another funky AR. Well, it's getting there, guys. I appreciate everybody following uh, my little project along. And again, I thank Cody Wilson for sharing this information online. And I hope to get this thing printed soon because uh, obviously I'm very anxious 
I am going to try to probably convert the barrel to a 22 long rifle or even a powerless 22 round uh, just because I think I may be able to get a couple of rounds out of it instead of one uh, with the 380. So anyway guys, I, I again I really appreciate you following the project and as always, uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.